<laughs> Especially if one of us starts laughing. Yeah. Um, I actually have the gain increased because I'm start. I actually started recording, but now you're here, Sam. We're gonna discuss this. The discussion is about G Fuel and the fact that it's being sued. Hmm. It's, oh, it's being sued by the Environmental Research Center for not warning customers about the products that contain lead, which violates California's Health and Safety Code. But I'm gonna stop right there. Right. When I first showed you this, didn't you read the labels on the stuff that even says the whole Proposition 65? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't have like a tub on me right now, but I recall seeing something about it. Well, it'll be on the Strawberry Shortcake, because they started on the containers, but you can only order this on the website. And it even tells you on the website about the Proposition 65 law. There's lead yes. in my shit. Here's the thing. There's lead because it uses powder from 19 fruits and vegetables, most of which are from roots. And lead is in soil. So it is absorbed naturally based from the soil. Like all occurring vitamins and minerals. Including like a lot of stuff that people buy already has lead in it. So kind of like how poppy seeds have opium in it. Yes, yet... Yeah. It's where you'll get see it on a drug test, but you're not getting any sort of, yeah. You're not imbibing, like, the unhealthy lead that might be in, like, let's say, unfiltered water, for example. Which, if you don't have a filter, people, do get one. Exactly. and Because Cliff Morgan, the CEO, which I replied to his tweet because of that, um... Since I started buying it, I already knew about it because my order, it showed it immediately warning me if I lived in California. Because it requires California to, to warn them on there. And yes, they, I actually think I recall this being on our ballot not too long ago. And it's been on the G Fuel website for years. People are warned, it's just that it's like they're getting more successful, so why not sue them and get money so we can get money? Well, honestly, it also sounds like a scare tactic on the behalf of their competitors, if you want my opinion. Because he here's what um, Cliff put on there. The Proposition 65 law is a labeling regulation for California consumers. California limits are more stringent than the FDA and require a warning for any product that causes an exposure of 0.5 micrograms of lead per day. FDA's daily limit for lead is 75 micrograms for adults and 6 micrograms for children. G Fuel is made with naturally occurring vitamins and minerals, which absorb lead through soil, like all natural vitamins, minerals, fruits, and vegetables grown in soil. G Fuel is well below the FDA's limits. And, again, not just that, but, I mean, it's not marketed toward kids and teens it's marketed towards adults to begin with but cliff also said that like him and his entire family drink g fuel and he stands by the product and even on streams that they do on twitch he's drinking g fuel on those streams and yet he's being bashed by people saying oh you're selling a cancer product it's like he's drinking it he supports his own product he even wards people not to drink certain amounts because it, like most things with caffeine, it will kill you if you drink too much and if you have a certain tolerance. Well, also that's also why there are um, warnings and on how many caffeine pills you take. Not to mention, it even says to limit between at most three servings a day for G fuel. Which I range at about one to maybe two at most if I'm really having a rough day. Same with me, and same with Sam. Because she drinks the strawberry shortcake with the milk. Mm-hmm. Same. And of course, I mean, the rainbow sherbet tastes great with the milk too, but... True. Um, I mean, with me right now, I'm drinking the good old classic blood orange and I mean it's fine I mean it tastes normal as usual I haven't had any ill or adverse effects in my time of drinking this 
same here. And I, in my first start, I was drinking three a day, and it's like no effects to me mentally or physically. I wasn't feeling drained from that or anything. I mean, really, the only thing that can moderately compare to it is the Monster Hydro, and even that, I mean, you're still getting more money out of getting a tub of G Fuel because that'll last you for a month and ten days, depending on how much you drink. It's a dollar a serving. Yeah, and I mean, if you're like some of us and especially other people who have like every single flavor and in their pantry, I mean, you're basically set for a year and some. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and Sam, G Fuel is actually buy one, get one 50% off on tubs right now. Are we going to do that on payday? Yeah, we're going to have to, or if we get to $200 in the account, if they still do have a sale by then. I right, that it'll still stay at thirty dollars a tub. I already know it's gonna be seventy something dollars after the shipping to get it. Yeah, but again, that's again about eighty days for two tubs. I mean, she she's been the one drinking all the strawberry shortcake. That's her tub, and she's had that lasting for the last few months. I still have mine. I mean. That's because I drink it on and off. Like I don't want to drink it like every day because I don't want to run out of it. <laughs> also, I made her a believer of the G Fuel shakers than the blender cups with the balls. Is that like the one I have, or is that different? It's, you, you, the one that you have is the uh, one that we all use for G Fuel. It's just okay. these are the blender cups you can get at Walmart. They have like the little uh, metal ball in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I've seen those. I've seen those. And these work so much better than those. Same price, and you can keep more liquid than the ones that they sell at the stores. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. And uh, I'm. I was look. I had like several different links up. One was actually Cliff Morgan's thing. The other was uh. Like, they have a whole FAQ of everything. Um, and the fact that it's it's FDA certified and compliant. So, it adheres to the requirements. So, therefore, it's just... Why? <laughs> well, here's how I see it. I mean, I don't know exactly entirely how Texas is... Or any other of the states, really. But California, everybody's got, you know, health on the mind. Oh, it's, you know, substitute this or, you know, or, or natural that, this and that and the other. And it's like, it is so e easy to fool Californians with just the whole, you know, Oh, there's something remotely vaguely unhealthy in this thing? Well, I better sue or see to it that they change it. And it's just like, yeah, but at that rate, it's kind of like, oh no, you're telling me the air is toxic? Well, no shit. But here's what the lawsuit says Gamma Labs was served a 60 day notice of Proposition 65 violation in August of last year. Which means you add 60 days to comply and discontinue your business or be taken to civil court if deemed necessary. This notice explicitly told Gamma Labs to reformulate their products, pay a civil penalty, and completely state the ingredients on the packaging of G Fuel, which it already has the ingredients. If you notice, all the powders from fruits, guess what? Most of those are grown in soil. So guess what? You're going to get naturally absorbed lead through those. Well, with under the limit, and it's been FDA certified, period. Yeah. But, you know, let's throw a bit about, you know, the naturally occurring lead and, you know, not the pesticides that are actually sprayed on fruits. That's true. But here's what it also says. 
Unfortunately, Gamma Labs not complied to notice and now faces a lawsuit. The Environmental Research Center apparently hired their own laboratory to further investigate Gamma Labs and concluded that the G Fuel products they tested all contained more than the 0.5 per day. But here, here's the thing is that I don't, I don't understand that part. Um, yeah, it's, it'd be 0.75 in that case, not 0.5. So I already see some discrepancies in that. Uh, one could argue it's a negligible discrepancy considering it's just by a small 2% margin, but I mean, still, it, it just seems like a blatant scare tactic to get, you know, competition out of the market now here's an example and this is the next few paragraphs and the actually the last paragraphs one of the worst parts about this lawsuit is how often this particular energy drink is marketed to children if it's not it look, unless you're handing your kid a, their own personal debit or credit card a kid isn't going to be able to buy G Fuel like they can Oh, let's say monster which contains a whole lot more of a rec recommended dose of sugars and what have you than G Fuel does. Not and you can get them from anywhere. Not just that, but when you're getting monster, it doesn't. No, no. If it's a kid buying it, guess what? They're not going to be stopped. Period. Well, yeah, there's no it, age restriction on those yet. You don't see that being targeted. Yeah, and I'm not here to to make this the shit on Monster Energy Drinks Hour, but I mean, it, it's not regulated like it is, say, with uh, alcoholic beverages. I mean, uh, an eighth grader could waltz right into their local convenience store or grocery store, pick one up, and you know, overload. Exactly. I mean. And then it says, many esports players, the likes of the FaZe Clan and Team Caliber, use G Fuel in some of their giveaways, which have no age restriction to enter. But guess what? If parents are paying attention to their kids in the first place, then this wouldn't even be a problem. In which also, then that's more of a, a team problem than it is a G Fuel problem. That's, again, um... It's up to the stores and whatnot to regulate what goes through certain aged individuals. And, I mean, that that's like blaming G Monster for little kids drinking it when it's the store's fault for not regulating. Exactly. In the past few years, new stories have come out about G Fuel and its potential harms to children. For example, a boy in Plymouth, Massachusetts was hospitalized from drinking G Fuel. Here's the thing. How much of the power did they put in the drink, for one? Two, were their parents actually around when they were doing this? And if they were, why did they allow how much was happening when they know what's actually supposed to be in it? And three... If it's a, if it's a kid drinking it, then the parents should be regulating where they're putting it out of reach until necessary to begin with. It's no different yeah. than drinking coffee, but even then for kids, they even recommended only use half a scoop. Right, and the thing with coffee is you can have it in an itty-bitty cup. You can have it in a fucking large thermos. And the same goes for this. I mean, you could be drinking... On an equivalent, the equal of like say a liter of it, which would be far beyond the recommended dose and drink. I mean, I I drink coffee at a young age. I was one of those lame ones who didn't drink coffee until they were an adult, but still, I can understand why why this is limited to kids because it's like. They shouldn't be having that much caffeine in their system to begin with. Exactly. 
And it says, G Fuel, while still being really marketable to children, you know it's not, is really prominent in the esports scene. Esports, now becoming an, an official Olympic sport in 2022, has really grown in, in the past few years. It's easier for fans to imagine that the competitors are using products like G Fuel and might not know how this is harming their bodies. You can only order it from fucking websites. You can look at what's in everything. And if parents are paying attention to all of this, won't be an issue at all. You have celebrities that market and are sponsored by certain liquors. And I don't see anybody going on an outrage saying, oh, they're, they're pandering alcohol to children. It's, if you want to conflate it that far, where does the argument end? It's like, because you, you can't even tell where it begins, you and you'll never know where it ends. If you just keep trying to point the blame, saying, oh, it's this company, oh, it's that company. No, it's your I greedy mean, fault, because all of you want money. You don't care about, you, you pretend to care, but you just want it to benefit yourself in the long run. And we come from, from a time of the 90s. We were children of the 90s, where Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all of that was pushed down our throats. There was no warnings. Parents just got it because, oh, it was a sweet drink for their kids. They grew up drinking it. What's the harm? And, you know, and now you got people scratching their hands. Oh, oh my kid, my, my six-year-old is diabetic or overweight. And it's just kind of like, yeah, you could say these, these athletes that are sponsored by these soda drinks are to blame. And that's just silly. It's like the ones that – there are some that are sponsored by Frozen Dinners, and those are just as bad. Like about a good chunk of anything you consume nowadays is bad for you. You practically have to grow something in your own backyard in order for it to be healthy for you. Ooh, be careful. It might contain lead. You might kill yourself with lead. <laughs> That's <laughs> the whole argument with this shit, too. <laughs> oh, no. God forbid. It's not like we don't have modern medicine that fixes some of these things. It's like I never even heard of G Fuel until Dr. Disrespect. And even he didn't, he didn't promote it to children or anyone. He was just drinking it. Oh, well, let's be fair. Dr. Disrespect isn't exactly marketed toward children to begin with. No, he's not. That's ba I've seen his streams, so I know. Children but, can't understand the Slick Daddy Club. Yeah, but they cha he's changed to the Champions Club since he's come back. But what are, what are your, I, I, Sam, I mean, Sam, what are your thoughts on all this shit? We're all going lead crazy anyway. We buy all our shit from China. Yeah, it's kind of um, that's kind of true with all the the furniture and all that. You don't know what the shit you're getting to touching. <laughs> and you, again, you get you get like a schnauzer from the pet store. <laughs> Lead. I mean, people were throwing fits over Monster when it first came out, and guess how that went? Absolutely fucking nowhere, except about several dozen flavors later, and nobody gives a damn. One of my coworkers back at Allsips, uh, he drank, you know, you remember that Uber monster? It came in a glass bottle. He drank like three in a day, and I thought, he was like, dude, are you okay? He was like, I don't know. I think I might die. I was like, well, don't die. You're heavy. <laughs> I was... wouldn't even drink that much. I can't remember. Well, I don't think it was Zach. Was it Zach? No, it was like, I, I don't even remember. It was some skinny kid. Uh... I'm like, dude, you're you're gonna die. Please don't. Well, that's the thing. That's why they give a warning of how many things you're supposed to drink. You're it... only supposed to have one bottle a day of that. And he had three. three. And I mean, if you want to be technical, liquor is the poison. You're not supposed to ingest it. That's also true. Like, right, well, it's not liquor, but I'm drinking sticky toffee pudding ale and i will be drinking some sake later and guess what i'm not gonna die tomorrow morning no i won't i may die to this person that's also in the chat with us but i may not die to this 
I mean, I have a liar, a higher likelihood of dying to being hit by a car randomly on the sidewalk than I do to something that I drink. Ray, you'd be more likely to die by the lawnmower exploding. You know, I thought you were going to go for a height joke and say that I'm more likely to, to die by falling off of a curb. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about height, period. I was thinking of more probability of the fact that you're always with the uh, yard, so... Okay, that's also fair. I'm just so used to the height jokes that it's just kind of like, yeah, they write themselves, I'll give you that one. No, the only time I ever say a joke is usually a dwarf, but I think like the medieval, like, old-time dwarves that are amazing. Ah, that... you mean like a, a mountain dwarf in D&D. Yes. &D. That is like a compliment kind of dwarf that I always call that's you. That's true. That's true. Anybody who's never played D&D, &D, look up the stats of a dwarf. And then come back and tell me they're wimpy. I dare you. So I mean, it's like, I'm giving you a compliment when I just call you a dwarf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if wow, I, if, I mean, if I wanted to insult you, I'd call you a gnome. Okay, that's fair, but at least they get the really funny hats. I'd go with World of Warcraft gnome. You'd just be punk. Okay, fair point. I was also thinking about the fable gnomes as well, but that's a different story. But I wanted to bring the whole G Fuel thing up to both of you since all three of us drink it, and from what I can tell, all three of us think that the whole thing is bullshit with their lawsuit. It is, I mean, and again, I mean, I come from California where the slightest thing mentions something unhealthy, and suddenly it causes an uproar in angry soccer moms. I mean, I have you drinking it, I have Sam enjoying it now. Um, and I have Red, who enjoyed it over Sack Anime. I have a co-worker of mine that he drinks the blue ice, and his fiance drinks the strawberry shortcake. Yeah, and I mean, I had um, Nat, our friend, uh, try some of it, and he enjoyed it a good deal. I mean, it it's fantastic. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's considered an energy drink, but it's called an energy formula because, for one thing, it's not, it doesn't have all the artificial BS that's in every single energy drink. It's an energy supplement in the way that, pro, that whey powder is a supplement for working out. Pretty much. Speaking as who someone who knew somebody who was big into muscle and fitness, it's it's the same concept except they're taking the idea and implementing it for an energy drink. It just it's like you know, speaking of what you're drinking right now. I heard the the yeah I heard the container and plus the gulp. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, it's like pineapple fruit powder, cabbage palm berry powder, pomegranate fruit extracts, apple fruit powder, orange fruit powder, blueberry fruit powder, grape seed powder, grapefruit powder, um, plum fruit powder, raspberry fruit powder, strawberry fruit powder, powder, watermelon, lemon, lime, melon, sour cherry fruit powder, papaya, peach, then pyrus... Communist fruit powder. Yeah. Most of those, except for like the obvious, obvious ones that grow in trees. A lot of yeah. those are in the ground, but guess what? That's from soil that is just, it's natural. Well, yeah, I mean... And that's all part of their antioxidants that's in the drink to where it, it's also very healthy for you. And I mean, especially considering at the end of the day, all you're doing is drinking flavored water. That's really all this is. I mean, the only thing that's in it that people don't like as well is the fact that it's sucralose. But I've looked up sucralose. It's it's literally an extract from sugar itself that's sweeter. And... I was, lo I was looking at everything I could up on it because I told you about this actually that one night. And mm -hmm. all bodies process stuff differently. Well, yeah, and that's just it. I mean, for us, at least the three of us, there's no effect. 
yeah, I mean, you know, I get a boost of energy, and, you know, unlike things like, you know, soda and energy drinks like Monster, I don't really feel the, the oh, what's the word? The crash? I don't feel, yeah, the crash that comes after drinking them. I mean, like I said, honestly, I love G Fuel. I mean, I'm glad I decided, like, you know what, let me try this. Had to buy one and get one free for the blood orange. I mean, that's yeah. how I started it. And then, let's see. Like, pink lemonade is fucking amazing with the cold water. I actually finally had it with cold water. Get a nice sour lemonade taste. So good. Yeah, I and I mean, over time with, the, with it, how I drink them, like, you know, here every other day or so, it's like... The tubs are going to last me a long time, and at the rate they come in, it's just like, eventually I'm probably going to have a tub of a little bit of everything, even though some will be more lower than others, but... Yeah, to me right now, good. my uh, my phase barrier is the lowest one I have. Uh, I think the lowest one I have right now is, I think, the shortcake at, like, halfway, so I'm just kind of being cautious with that. I mean, like, for me, Phase Berry, and then I have, uh, I think the second lowest is my, um, oh, I forgot I had this one in there, which was the Peach Iced Tea, which was, oh, so good. Um, Cherry Lime Mate's amazing. Yeah, it's definitely like a sourish, like, it, it can't be, I can't compare it to Sonic's Cherry Lime, Lime Mate, obviously, because that's sweet, but this is sweet with the, like, the sourness of a lime. Mixed yeah. in. Yeah, I can agree with that. I mean, it, it's not like the Arizona iced teas or the Sonic drink where you can taste the sweetness, but that's kind of the point. I mean, it's not meant to be all sugary and whatnot, like a carbonated drink. Exactly. I mean, well, I think OBS is probably going to record this because if I go to... Okay, that... It... I was trying to get to uh, G Fuel, but it looks like they had stopped. Um, but I had gotten a notification on my uh, mail that they had um, they're doing a stream, but I guess that was a while ago that the email was in. Hmm. But usually, last time I checked a lot of their, their uh, streams, there's been several times when they do giveaways, the CEO himself is on there, usually involved with it, answering questions, you know, giving away shakers, giving away tubs of G Fuel. Yeah, and the, and the other thing is, it's rare to see, like... An official like a CEO or anybody in corporate actually, you know, putting faith into their product. Most of the time, it's just somebody look at Coca Cola sitting back from the boardroom and making in millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, he, he actually answers tweets. He didn't answer mine uh, when I replied to him, but he liked the tweet overall. But he was responding to a lot of people who were in support of G Fuel. But yeah, a lot of ones insulting. It's like, oh, you're selling cancer products. No, he, he's not. And in fact, my tweet said, screw what the haters say. I'm going to continue buying it. My wife's going to continue buying it. And I'm going to continue buying it for my friend who also enjoys it when it helps him out throughout his days. We're going to continue yeah. being customers. So if you keep up with your good product... And I keep recommending it to friends because they're just kind of like, well, shit, sometimes I've got to work like a <clears throat> a 16-hour shift. This is a, somebody in the medical field, by the way, and they're just like, yeah, it, it's good. I'm not going to say, oh, hey, this is the pinnacle of healthiness because I myself haven't really looked at everything that's in it over carefully. But, I mean, it sure as hell is a lot better than me chugging down like, you know, a monster or two to make it through a 16 hour shift and it's like over oh, I'm also gonna say it straight out as well in the video is that this is not sponsored by G Fuel in any way shape or form I'm gonna say that right now 
this is more of us in support of the product that we love and the fact that as much as I want to be sponsored by GFuel, I'm not a streamer, so I can't sign up for their sponsorship program. Yeah, I mean, this is more or less free promotion. I mean, if if you would like to give kickbacks, we're, we're more than happy to, but we're not expecting it. Yeah, I mean, I may – so I'll probably upload it and I'll share it to uh, Twitter and obviously then – Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they won't. Like I said, this is like kind of just – I definitely wouldn't consider it a podcast. More of like a discussion slash rant slash I don't know. But I, – I think just the good catch-all is just it, it's a podcast. <laughs> I want to, but it's just – well, no. This kind of feels like the off-topic podcast because it's just always chaos anyway, so. Well, yeah. I mean we've kind of got a mix of – what we're drinking, what we will be drinking, and oh hey yeah, hi people, happy Valentine's Day. Meh, I don't even Meh. care about the holiday. I didn't pay attention. I, I, I didn't even pay attention. It was the holiday when we decided to go to Amarillo today. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I just well, here's, I just realized oh hey, it's it's the fourteenth. Well, here's the thing. The last time I worked with uh, it was on Saturday. Worked with Kevin, and he, I told him what we were doing Wednesday, and then he mentioned oh, about a bunch of stuff for Valentine. I'm going, wait, why are we discussing the Valentine stuff again? And then I looked at my calendar on my phone. I pulled it up. I'm going, oh, Wednesday's the 14th. That's why you said it. And I tell Sam, and she has the same reaction. He's like, oh, it is. Yeah, I mean, I I just looked over, and I was like, oh, it's the 14th. Well, what I'm going to do is do my normal shit, get myself a couple comics, because I'm not a married or individual, nor am I taken by anybody, and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy some Marvel movies. Oh, speaking of which, did you see episode 5 yet? Episode 5. Um, Death March. Need to do that, have it torrented. Ah, uh, and Sam muted herself. Not muted, she deafened herself so she can't hear or talk. So she's doing something. Fair enough. Um, well, she gave her opinion. That's all I wanted was her opinion on this, so. I mean, for me, I bought a couple of volumes of Citrus with a, an old gift card that I found laying in uh, in one of my drawers that I thought I'd lost. Ah. So she's like, oh, okay, cool. I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and buy my Yuri manga. Wait, are we still recording? Yes. <laughs> oh, hi. We're still hi. recording. I'm unrepentant. I'm reading Citrus. If you're about 16 years old, Google it. If you're not, you're going to Google it anyways. I can't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, you're not wrong. But, um, <laughs> the reason why it's like I said, Arisa, you will, she is someone you're going to go like, oh my Especially oh because, especially because of her abilities. Oh boy! Think mind control, but not mind oh control. Oh boy! This is going to be interesting. Because he, because here's the thing: the main character, and this is going to be spoilers, but this has been out for almost a week. Um, but then again, the manga has been out for a long time on this chapter, so he probably should have read it by that point. Fair enough. But I've got a lot I'm I'm catching up on between this Made in Abyss. Uh, I'm watching Overlord Citrus. I know Darling you're watching Overlord. Franks. Yes, Darling in the Franks is a, is fucking amazing. Um, there's another one that. Is also out this season. I think you'd like. Hmm. Uh, I compare it to one of the main characters to Marshall because of the knowledge of beer. Um, I have to, I have to, I have to scroll down on the list to find it. It was Taku Nomi. Let's see. Let me just put that into. Hold on. Google no, I'll just I'll just send it to you from the uh, website I watch it on. Oh, okay, that works. I'll just send it on here so you can see it. 
Because I'm better at remembering characters in appearance than I am with uh, names at first. It, the character is uh, now the blonde. Oh! 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 I've seen this like on the uh, website where I keep track of what anime I watch. Yes, I started watching this. I got the episode two. I haven't had a chance to continue it because of everything else I've been doing. But I mean, that's fair. But yeah, I'm. I need to look into this. It, it's still continuing. It's on five episodes right now. But man, there's a lot of good series out this season. There's re it really is. Usually, I only watch like one or two, but I'm watching several. Let's see. Let me actually pull up what I'm watching for this season. I'm watching that... uh, Hitori no Shita, The Outcast, Season 2. Of course. Obviously, Taku no Mi, Darling in the mm -hmm. Franks. Um, I I'm really having to go through because there's... Uh, obviously, I'm watching uh, the Ancient Magus' Bride. Of course. Dragon Ball Super, which has continued on. It hasn't stopped yet. Yeah, it's got a few more episodes, and then it's, it's going on hiatus, because I think what they want to do is get all the staff working on the movie. That's what I heard. Um, Citrus is what I want to watch. Uh, I started watching The Seven Deadly Sins on the newest season. Uh, which one? There's two different Seven Deadly Sins. There's one with Melodious and Gang, and Melodious. then there's one that... Okay, because the other one is... I know which one, one that is, which I do not recommend to anyone under a certain age, but... Just don't be at work or at school watching that shit. I have to watch that for my own Facebook. <laughs> because of the exit group that I'm in. <laughs> I have to be careful not to sign the fucking Discord because I have my guild who will post uh, stuff in the porn channel. And now there's a... Actually, in a head tie channel and the other Discord, it's like I have to fucking watch that at all times. And now, and now you've got like these shorts with the seven heavenly virtues with that. Uh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, I'm watching Death March as well. Of course. Um, there was one I wanted to watch, I, which was a uh, Yuru Camp. I wanted to start watching that. I've heard about it. I haven't seen anything on it, though. Haven't seen. I'm going through a lot of the list of uh, stuff here. One series I want to start watching and I haven't was Black Clover. Uh, From what I understand, watch the dub because from what I understand, his scream is so annoying in Japanese. Noted. Also, Killing Bites. Ah, yes, Killing Bites. The also not anime... recommended for anyone under a certain age. True. Especially but, after again, this last episode. Yeah, I need to see that. But I'm just going to say, for those of you who are late 90s, 2000s kids, if you ever play a, a fighting game called Bloody Roar, this is about as close to an anime of it as you're ever probably going to get. I don't even think I played that. It, it was a very niche fighting game by Hudson Soft, but that was unfortunately bought out and dissolved by, hey, everybody's favorite studio, EA. Konami. Oh, you're going to say EA at first? <laughs> Since they're already no, fucking things fuck up. Fuck EA, but also fuck <laughs> Konami. I'm still bitter about Silent Hills. Uh, that's actually still... Well, I know Kojima is working on a similar series. With... Death Stranding. Yes. Death Stranding. The the game that gets more confusing with every trailer that comes out. Hey, keep them guessing. If it's Kojima, hey, I mean, it. if it's Kojima, it's got it's gonna have to be good. I mean, Kojima is a madman. You remember Metal Gear Solid um, Three, right? Sort of. Yes, it's been a long time. Uh, I forget which boss fight was because I'm terrible with names. But I don't he know. wanted one of the the boss fights to last. For two weeks. Uh, I don't remember, so. I'm currently looking at my uh, wish list, to be honest, right now. I'm, I forget what I have in my wish list on Steam. Um, well, while you look through that, I mean, 
do I just kind of go over everything that's like I'm currently watching from just this season or carryovers as well? It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, starting from the bees, I'm watching um, Blood Blockade, Battlefront, and Beyond because I kind of stalled on that because stuff came up. Um, Card Captor Soccer because that is some damn nostalgia for me with the new series. Uh, I Castlevania because I've heard that is just A. Um, Citrus, of course, Stalling in the Franks, a, a lot of the same stuff you're watching. Um, I need to finish the tale in the Fate Apocrypha, and I'm watching Fate Extra Last Encore. Uh, let's see. Juni Tyson, The Zodiac War. Um, I haven't started that one either. Land of the Lustrous, Maiden Abyss, Necopara's OVA, which you will probably see on my Steam wish list. Mm. Not the OVA, well. Yeah, no, not the OVA, but one of the games. Overlord to Pop Team Epic. Oh. The Ancient Mega Sprite. Today's menu for Emia Family, which basically think learning how to cook, but with fake characters. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I heard about that. Uh, I'll link it really quick. Oh, cool. I got an email telling me that I have uh, the first shot of buying badges for RTX 2018 for Austin. Oh, yeah, I remember them mentioning something about that. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm not going to be able to go. Oh, yeah, whenever the NUS been able to go to RTX. Okay, yeah, I definitely heard of that. It was, I think it was posted actually on the uh, that one Facebook group that we're both in. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's like one episode a month, but it's good. Hmm. Like I said, I, I said, there's a lot of stuff I have to look into on that. <laughs> I mean, same. Also, remember I told you that the RT box was uh, spoiled for me? Yes. Apparently that was the box that they're shipping out this month. Oh. That I'm supposed to get, I'll see, in the middle of next month. Oh. Okay. Because the shirt that I got is actually in my YouTube channel. It was uh, Barb's Diner from Always Open. Nice. Then I got a pancake pin for a Shrove Tuesday which is ironic I get this in the podcast for pancakes came also came out this week I got the final card in the series for the double gold I got Cameron Campbell figure Ooh. which was uh cause last month was like a small blue uh max one I got the Quartermaster Oven Mitt. Ooh. Um. Let's see. I'm trying to remember everything from scratch. Oh, I got a Team Coffee mug. Oh, nice. Got that. That was actually took me a bit because it was wrapped up very tightly, which I actually like. I mean, it. I would be interested too if that was in the shop, but you know. Not everything goes up there. I got an RT cereal sticker. All right. Which also had the card because this was the card was done by Gavin. The the Good shit. It was breakfast themed. All right, makes sense. <laughs> but I'm guessing next month it, the what? Well, I say next month because that's when I'll get it. Is uh. Probably Valentine's Day theme, which would explain the velvet shirt. Makes sense. People may say I'm spoiling it, but if anyone watches the, uh, also Son of the Bitch Rooster Teeth, you gave 20% off, and yet I don't have the fucking money to get the t-shirt. Yeah, I, I feel you on this, because I, I saw, like, the Blake Ilya shirt, and... The Yang shirt, and I'm just like, oh. And the uh, Neo and Roman shirt. Yeah, that too. And it's just like, oh, damn it. 
And I still want the Battle Buddies t-shirt. Understandable. And Or the jacket at this point. They got rid of my white coats at work, so I have to wear the fucking black apron. <laughs> 